Gaffer, another week's worth of sessions for the guys this week. How are things coming together? No, good. The lads, the lads have trained really well again this week. Um, we, we've purposely not put a game in this week, so we could have a, a longer session on Tuesday to get some more welcome to the players. Um, and we're looking forward to, to playing Hall Trust Saturday now, which will be an exciting game, I think. As you say, we're visiting Hornchurch on Saturday, who are, of course, FA Trophy holders. Are you expecting a tough test for the team? Yeah, I think it will be. I think the beauty of playing the teams from, from below our level this season is that they're all a week or two ahead of us in, in, in terms of their progress because we start later than them. Um, we, had a, we had a good game with Hornchurch last season. Um, I'm sure we'll have another one Saturday. Obviously, I played for Stimmer at Hornchurch. He's got, he's got a good side there. They're competitive. They always are, his teams. And, and we're looking forward to going there. You played an 11 in each half at Braintree. Can we expect similar this weekend or will there be the odd player that is getting more than 45? Yeah, they'll, we'll play longer on Saturday. Um, a minimum 60 minutes for, for the majority of the players. Maybe some will do longer than that as well. And we'll do the same again Tuesday night and then next week's games we'll do two 90s to Friday and Saturday. Yeah, good stuff. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, cool. And um, it's obviously been a very hot one this week. Does does that impact training at all, or is that just a case of a couple more water breaks during your sessions? Yeah, you've just got to be mindful of the heat. Obviously, it is extremely hot. Um, and at the minute, we're training on a 4G pitch, which obviously gives off a lot of heat as well. So uh, it's not easy for the players, but at the same time, you've got to get it worked on. It is what it is at this stage of the season. Yeah, it is tough. It's tough no matter what the conditions are in pre-season to get yourself up to speed. Um, so they've done all the work they're supposed to do but as you say we've had to just introduce a few more drink breaks etc and just manage the time a little bit more Yeah for sure and there didn't seem to be any niggles for any of the guys after the brain tree game is everyone doing alright on the fitness front at the minute? Yeah we've got one that'll be missing that picked up an injury on Saturday um, he'll be out uh, Fipsy's doing well in terms of training he, he's joined in a lot more he, he won't be available for any any game soon, but he, he's he's coming along nicely, and obviously Ramsey's still recovering from his surgery, so he'll be back at the, uh, the back end of pre-season, the start of the season. Yeah, good stuff. And just finally, Hornchurch is slightly more local to the club than the Braintree was, so we can maybe hopefully expect a good turnout. Are you mainly hoping that the fans get to see some more nice football from the team, similar to last weekend? Yeah, we'll look to do better if we can. I <laughs> think, you know, you, you look in pre season to do better week on week. Um, at this stage of the season as well, we will try different formations and different partnerships, and nothing set in stone, especially in these early games. We have got nine friendlies to get through. So the early ones, we will try different combinations together, and, and hopefully we can play some of the good attacking football we, we displayed last weekend, but be a little bit uh, better defensively and a little bit more. Uh, compact as a team in what we're used to seeing in, in, in terms of our defensive organisation but that will come as we go along pre-season I'm sure but hopefully we'll have some goals